rain is on the way as well. CBS 2's Jackie Johnson is here now with your first look at the forecast. Jackie. That is right, Paul and Pat. Good evening, everyone. We do have more rain and cold temperatures headed our way. Uh, but for now, this week, for the most part, looking pretty dry. By Friday into Saturday, that'll be our next chance of rain. So let's enjoy it. In fact, we've got uh, beautiful live shots. It sure was nice to see some sunshine once again today. And we do have nice clear skies on the satellite radar composite. So that is great news after a very wet half of the weekend uh, and we've got another storm another area of low pressure just off the coast this will not have a big impact on our weather so that is the good news uh, the bad news is that cold air from that last storm system has settled in and it is going to be here for quite some time in fact below average temperatures during the day and at night uh, we're currently only into the 50s lows tonight back down into the 30s and 40s so that cold air is settling in and we do expect partly cloudy skies for now chilly temperatures about 10 degrees below average for your daytime highs this week and then more rain as soon as Friday. I'll have more information on that coming up. Pat Paul back to you. All right. Thank you, Jackie. Today was a holiday. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what are you doing at work, right? <laughs> got no idea. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? <laughs> you get back here. I'll drag you right out with me. Oh, oh take me. All all right. Right. Oh, he's That's making me leave. It's a daisy chain. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to have a forecast first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? If we were talking about it's not really bad working on a holiday because you're not in traffic. That was That's true. It was light today. There's some consolation. Yeah. There is. He not still much. Look at the well, Paul still didn't know it, though, yeah. right? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. hmm? <laughs> well, happy President's Day Oh, thank to you very you. much. You too. And you too. <laughs> dum, 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 and dum, happy dum, Monday dum, and President's Day to you, too, at home. Hopefully you're enjoying your three-day weekend. I know it could have been better weather-wise for the folks that stayed in town, but pretty exciting weather-wise. If you're interested in the snow and the storms that we had, we had two feet of snow oh. in our mountains. So oh. that's good news. I was going to say, that's lovely. Yeah. Me. Well, let's take it live outside. Mm -hmm. Quit looking at me. Let's take a look at the weather. <laughs> All right. We've oh, got a oh, shot. beautiful shot. A sky, too, just giving us just some awesome shots the last few weeks. We are looking over the mountain areas, and you can see those clouds are still hanging around. So, again, uh, we still have some moisture around those south-facing mountain slopes, enough to maybe produce a few sprinkles here and there. Uh, nothing like that storm system that moved through this weekend. Uh, but we had those very nice low snow levels, and uh, the resort areas uh, just packed because of all that snow. Temperatures, however, have taken a plunge, and they will stay on the cool side. 50s for your highs today. We should be into the low 70s, but again, those temperatures running well below where they should be. Uh, looking at our current temperatures, we're into the 50s right now, and those temperatures will be dropping into the 30s and 40s tonight, so we've got a very cold night on tap for us tonight. We also are still dealing with some gusty winds coming in out of the southwest. You can see in the Antelope Valley at 14 miles an hour, New Hall at 10, 9 in Ventura, uh, Ontario winds sustained at 14 miles an hour. There's another area of low pressure just off the coast, but this one's not going to have a big impact on our weather. The only thing we are really going to notice are just some lingering clouds. Most of this moisture will stay off the coast. This area of low pressure is just going to drop to the south and then start to drift further to the east. But again, it will drop so far to the south that all it's really going to do is bring some clouds into our area. But notice with this big trough of low pressure in place, We've got all this cold air from the north, so even though we will see plenty of sunshine over the next few days, we don't expect a big warm-up. Another storm system will be moving in behind this by about Friday and Saturday of this week, and what that will do is bring us another chance of rain. So uh, by this coming weekend, another chance of rain and cooler temperatures. Your highs tomorrow will be into the low 60s, but again, we do have lots of sunshine on tap for the next few days, so uh, the cooler temperatures aren't really bad when you have mostly sunny skies during the day. A low 60s from the coast to those inland valleys and it will stay that way through about Thursday. Friday afternoon, another storm moves in. This one looking fairly weak right now. Of course, we'll keep you updated, but we should see some showers by about Friday night through Saturday and should clear up as soon as Sunday. So the whole weekend won't be a washout, but we do have more wet weather headed our way and those chilly temperatures will be sticking around all week long. Paul, Pat, back to you. All right, Jackie, we